Now, totally moving on to a very different section. And this is section 5.1. Any reflections on chapter on, on section 4.7? Any final words for anybody? Moment of silence. That's a proper send off. So anyway, section 5.1, and this is all about sequences. Well, actually, so section 5 is going to be all about something called mathematical induction, which is awesome and should not be confused with the other 17,000 things induction means. For example, there's uh, inductive reasoning. This is not induction. So there's deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning. And deductive reasoning is Sherlock Holmes, like the art of deduction, that kind of thing. We start with some facts. And then you combine those facts logically and get to conclusions. So that's what math is all about. Everything in math is deductive reasoning. And the way the places you see it most are like those, the zebra did it proofs or whatever, or something like that. Um, because there you really, you really start with those like five assumptions and then you just combine them together to make new true statements using logic. And then you get down to a, a, the new statement that comes from those other ones, right? Inductive reasoning is how the scientific method works. Inductive reasoning is less cool. It's still cool. And that is, uh, it basically says, assume that if things, things are going to keep happening the way they've been happening. So for example, if every time you drop something, it falls at a rate of 32 feet per second per second, it's always going to do that. Is it true? Not technically, it doesn't have to be, right? Like math kind of shows us that, right? Where you know, like we talked about the whole Merson prime thing, and that was the whole two to the n minus one. And that tripped a lot of people up because if you were two to the p minus one or piece of prime, if, if you look at two squared minus one, that equals three, which is prime, two cubed minus one, that equals seven, which is prime, two to the fifth minus one, that's 32 minus one, which is 31, which is prime, two to the seven minus one is what? That's gonna be 127 which is prime, all these work out, you have to get to two of the 11 minus one before you find a counter example, right? So just because you check a lot of examples does not necessarily mean it's always gonna work. But that's kind of the base of the scientific method and it's gotten us this far. So for sciencey things, um, we say it's good enough, not for mathy things. But anyway, that, that's what inductive reasoning means in, the, in like the science world. Induction means something totally different. Induction is gonna be a way that we basically prove infinitely many things using a chain. And so, for example, we're gonna be able to prove that, that's uh, a good example. For example, we'll see when we get there. The point is gonna be interesting. So for now, though, let's go to section 5.1, which we need to do before we can get to that cool stuff, and that is sequences. So what's a sequence? Let's do some examples. So let's first do some sequences from every day life to wrap a mind around what exactly a sequence is. So for example, you could have a course sequence. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So let's just go a little bit of a review. Although we're going to get a little more complicated with it. Well, actually, calc two is pretty complicated. I mean, Riemann sums, like, you can't really get more complicated than that. But Riemann sums, I think a lot of people didn't actually understand them. They understood enough to pass the test. The stuff here we should actually be understanding. So core sequences, for example, you could have CS114 followed by CS2114 followed by CS3114 followed by dropping out. <laughs> That's what I did. Um, not recommending it necessarily. But anyway, uh, yeah, so these are core sequences, right? It's first you do this, then this, then this, then this. It's an ordered thing like that. Um, you can have a sequence of events. Yeah. 
Actually, let's do let's use different colors. So you could have a sequence of events, like I don't know. Maybe one day you're sitting in a tree. The next day, K I S S I N G. Then comes love. Then comes marriage. Then comes a baby and a baby carriage. <laughs> right? This is a sequence of events. This happens, then this, then this, then this, then this. It's a list of things that happens in order. Um, you know, you could have a sequence of colors. Uh, a little room here. Sequence of colors. Like if anyone's ever put in a rock band or like a guitar here, cheat code, right? It could be like yellow, orange, blue, blue, orange, yellow, yellow, which will unlock for you everything in Guitar Hero 1. So, who said discrete math is useless? <laughs> um, does anyone play Guitar Hero anymore? Did I just date myself? Is that like old? Or, or what are the kids doing these days? Like TikTok and Fall Guys? I don't know. Thanks, Sava. It's great, right? So, yeah. Um,